In this third part of the database lecture, we will look at the different types of models that are available for us to def design database systems. There are basically two different types of models that are available. One is known as a file processing model. The other one is known as a database processing model. Incidentally, in the lab using Access, the database model that is used is the database processing model. In other words, it is not a file processing model. Incidentally, file processing model is the older method of designing database application systems. It is inefficient and it is outdated. It is no more used. Whereas, the database processing model is very efficient and it is the currently used model for database application development. There are two different technologies that can be used under database processing models to design a database application system. One is known as the relational database model and the other one is known as the object oriented relational model. The database application system that was designed in the classroom was based on the relational database application system. Now, before we go and take a look at the relational database application or relational database development process. We will first look at a quick look at file processing system and database processing system. Here is an example that shows the member file and the membership plans file. The first example shows the file processing system. The second example depicts the database management system. In the case of the file processing system, different files are kept in the database, each containing the entire data about a particular object. For example, in this file processing system, we are keeping two files. The first file is known as the member file and the second file is known as the membership file. In this member file, we keep all the information about the members. Also, in the membership plans file, we keep all the information about the membership plans. There is a difference between the file processing system and the database processing system. In the case of database processing system, we still keep two files that are known as tables or in the case of a database or using database terminology, it is known as a relation. So, in the case of a database management system, we keep the member files, we keep the membership plans file. However, the data that we keep in the member file does not duplicate any other information kept anywhere else. Here is the example. Look at the member file here. Look at the membership code. We have the membership code also we have a membership name that is associated with the membership code. Let us say that membership code 1 is associated with platinum membership. Let us say membership code 2 is associated with membership called gold membership. So, we keep that information here. We also keep the same information here. But in this particular case, where we keep the code information, but we do not keep the name of the membership. So, in other words, let us say that member 55, which is Nanda Ganesan, the membership is 2. So, if we want to find the name of the membership, we will go to the next file and retrieve the name for membership code number 2, which would be gold membership. In this particular case, you may have to access two different files to retrieve the information. However, the advantage here is that information is not repeated. There is no redundant information. Here, you have to go to one file to retrieve the information. However, the membership name is duplicated in two places. It can poses a lot of problems. What problems are they? If the membership name is updated here and if it is not updated here, then there is a discrepancy. 
For this reason, database models are considered superior. Here again is a summary of what we did. Uh, let's say that uh, Nanda Ganesan is the name and the membership ID is 2. In the file processing system, we will keep all this information in this file. What will we keep? We will keep information about the fact the first name, last name, membership code and membership name. For Nanda Ganesan, would, this would be Nanda here, Ganesan here and membership code is 2 and membership name is gold. And also, we will keep in the other file, incidentally this is the member file and this is the membership file. In the membership file, we will keep information about uh, let us say 1 is platinum, 2 is gold, membership code 3 is silver and so on. Uh, so, we can see that this information is repeated here as well. Now, let us see how this incidentally is, is the file management system or file processing system as we called it earlier. And let us see how this works out in the case of database management system. It works out as follows. Uh, we will create two tables. Table number one will have for example, the first name, last name and membership code. Uh, for me, it would be Nanda, this is Ganesan and this is 2. So, this would be the membership, oh, sorry, the member table and we will also create in this case a membership plan table. Uh, that will contain the following information. This is the membership plan table. Uh, it will contain the following information, the code first, membership code and the name. Uh, code 1 is platinum, code 2 is uh, gold and code 3 is silver. Uh, incidentally, uh, we can the primary key in this case would be this field. This field is the gold code field that is the primary key. Now, if you want to retrieve all the information for Nanda Ganesan, what we will do is we will go to this table first, retrieve the first name which is Nanda that comes from this, then we will retrieve the last name which is Ganesan from this file, then we will retrieve the membership code. If you want to display the membership code, we can do that. Then for the name of the membership, we will go to the other table and against 2 we see gold. So, from here we will membership name, uh, membership code incidentally is 2 and membership name is gold. So, in this case we access this table, we access this table and using this, this is known as a relationship between these two tables, we obtained all the information. The advantage in this case is that if we have to change information about this membership here, we only have to change it in this particular file. We do not have to change it here and we do not have to change it here, not in both places, only one. So, there is no redundant information and this is the model that is used in many cases to develop database management system. Incidentally, this is also known as the relational database management uh, development model.